Tech Talk, how our favorite gadgets shape our lives. Hey Nancy, have you seen the latest smartphone release? It's packed with new features. Hi Luther. Yes, I've read about it. It looks amazing, especially the camera upgrades. But, I'm more attached to my laptop. It's my go-to gadget for everything. Interesting. I love my smartphone because it keeps me connected and organized. Why is your laptop your favorite? I say, I love my laptop because it's incredibly versatile. I can work, watch movies, and even do some graphic design on it. It's like my portable office. That makes sense. I guess for me, the portability and convenience of a smartphone are unbeatable. Plus, I use it for quick photos and staying fit with health apps. Health apps on smartphones are indeed a game changer. But when it comes to doing research or drafting documents, I find the larger screen and keyboard of a laptop indispensable. True, each gadget has its unique place in our lives. By the way, have you tried using smart home devices? Yes, I have a few smart bulbs and a smart speaker at home. They make daily routines so much easier. How about you? Same here. I love how I can control almost everything with just my voice or my phone. Technology has really changed how we live, hasn't it? Absolutely. It's all about making life more convenient and efficient. Speaking of which, have you heard about the new wearable tech coming out? Yes, the one that monitors your health metrics in real time? It's fascinating how far we've come with personal health technology. Indeed. It's empowering to have such personalized data at our fingertips. It helps us make better health decisions. Definitely. The future of technology is exciting, and I can't wait to see what's next. Do you think there's a gadget we can't live without anymore? Tough question. I'd say it's the smartphone for its all-around utility. But who knows what the future holds? True, the possibilities are endless. It was great chatting about this with you, Nancy. Likewise, Luther. Let's catch up again soon. Creating a Happy Family Life, an English Dialogue Hi Nancy, how has your day been? Hi Oscar. It's been good, thanks. Just busy with the usual household chores. How about you? Pretty much the same. Work has been hectic, but I'm managing. You know, I've been thinking a lot about how we balance our family life. That's funny, I was just thinking about that too. It's not always easy, is it? True, but I think we do a good job. Communication is key, don't you think? Absolutely. Speaking of which, I wanted to talk about planning more family activities. That's a great idea. Maybe we could have a family game night every week. I love that idea. It would be a nice way for us to spend quality time together. Exactly. And what about planning a small vacation? Just a weekend getaway. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Maybe a trip to the countryside? Perfect, the kids would love that too. And how about we also make sure we have some bus time? Definitely. Maybe a date night every other week? Yes, let's do that. It's important for us to nurture a relationship as well. I agree. Also, I was thinking we could encourage the kids to pick up a new hobby or sport. That's a good thought. It would be great for their development and confidence. 
Exactly. Plus, it teaches them about responsibility and commitment. Speaking of responsibility, maybe we should consider giving them some simple household tasks. Yes, that would help them learn the value of contributing to the family. All these plans sound fantastic. I think they'll really contribute to a happy and peaceful family life. I think so too. I'm really looking forward to implementing all of these ideas. Same here. We're really building something beautiful together. Absolutely. Here's to our happy family life. Creating a Happy Family Life, an English Dialogue Hi Nancy, how has your day been? Hi Oscar. It's been good, thanks. Just busy with the usual household chores. How about you? Pretty much the same. Work has been hectic, but I'm managing. You know, I've been thinking a lot about how we balance our family life. That's funny, I was just thinking about that too. It's not always easy, is it? True, but I think we do a good job. Communication is key, don't you think? Absolutely. Speaking of which, I wanted to talk about planning more family activities. That's a great idea. Maybe we could have a family game night every week. I love that idea. It would be a nice way for us to spend quality time together. Exactly. And what about planning a small vacation? Just a weekend getaway. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Maybe a trip to the countryside? Perfect, the kids would love that too. And how about we also make sure we have some bus time? Definitely. Maybe a date night every other week? Yes, let's do that. It's important for us to nurture a relationship as well. I agree. Also, I was thinking we could encourage the kids to pick up a new hobby or sport. That's a good thought. It would be great for their development and confidence. Exactly. Plus, it teaches them about responsibility and commitment. Speaking of responsibility, maybe we should consider giving them some simple household tasks. Yes, that would help them learn the value of contributing to the family. All these plans sound fantastic. I think they'll really contribute to a happy and peaceful family life. I think so too. I'm really looking forward to implementing all of these ideas. Same here. We're really building something beautiful together. Absolutely. Here's to our happy family life. English for Every Day, Mastering Greetings and Goodbyes How do you say hello in English? You say, hello, or, hi. What do you ask when you want to know someone's name? What's your name? How can Linda introduce Pascal to her friend? This is Pascal. How do you ask for someone's job in English? What do you do? Pascal is late for the meeting. What does he say? I'm sorry for being late. Linda has a meeting at 2 p.m. How does she say it? I have a meeting at 2 p.m. How do you make an appointment in English? Can we schedule a meeting? Pascal wants to meet Linda tomorrow. 
What does he ask? Can we meet tomorrow? How do you say goodbye in a formal way? Goodbye or farewell. Linda enjoys coffee. How does she accept an offer? Yes, I'd love some coffee. How do you politely ask where the bathroom is? Excuse me, where is the bathroom? Pascal is looking for the bank. What does he ask? Where is the nearest bank? How do you ask someone if they speak English? Do you speak English? Linda is visiting London. How does she express this? I am visiting London. How do you ask for the time? What time is it? Pascal is shopping and needs a different size. What does he say? Do you have this in a larger size? Linda feels cold. What does she say? I'm cold. How does Pascal order two coffees in English? Two coffees, please. Linda is lost in New York. How does she ask for help? Can you help me? I'm lost. Pascal wants to know if the seat is taken. What does he ask? Is this seat taken? I hope these examples are useful for your English learning. Thanks for watching. Home Dog Care, our lovely dogs and how we look after them. Hi Hillary. I've been thinking about adopting a dog. Since you have one, could you share some tips on home dog care? Hi Alvin. Of course, I'd love to. What do you want to know first? Well, what's the most important thing to consider when bringing a dog home? The most important thing is time. Dogs need your time and attention for walks, training, and companionship. That makes sense. How often do you walk your dog? I walk my dog, Buster, three times a day. Morning walks help him start the day, and evening walks help him calm down before bed. Sounds like a good routine. What about feeding? I feed Buster twice a day with dog food that's appropriate for his age, size, and energy level. It's crucial to keep their diet balanced. Got it. How do you handle training and discipline? Positive reinforcement is key. Rewarding good behavior with treats and praise works better than punishment. Consistency is also important in training. Positive reinforcement, got it. What's one thing you wish you knew before getting Buster? I wish I had known just how much joy and work a dog can bring. It's a big responsibility but incredibly rewarding. That's good to know. Any final tips for someone considering adopting? Make sure you're ready for the commitment. Dogs are not just pets they become family members. Also, consider adopting from a shelter. Thanks, Hillary. Your insights are really helpful. I think I'm ready to take the step and bring a new friend home. You're welcome, Alvin. If you have any more questions or need help, just let me know. Good luck!